This is Twit. Amazon <laughs> buys our sponsor, the Ring Video yeah. Doorbell, for $1 yeah. million. Dollars. At least that's the... Up. It might be more. More? We don't know because nobody's saying. Yeah. I, How well, much is someone off uh, own of it? Oh, I don't know. They oh, raised two hundred and ten million dollars over the last six years. So okay, and I love. There's got to be people posted immediately on Twitter the the uh, the uh, video of Jamie Jamie uh, the founder pitching was it is it Zawinski pitching his video doorbell to the Shark Tank people who turned him down. Turn him okay. down. Yeah, they turned him down with reason. That doorbell, the doorbot <laughs> doorbell, was a piece of crap. Yeah, but they could have had a chunk of ring. Eh, yeah. No one takes the Shark Tank deals. My friends who are on Shark Tank are like, don't do it. It's terrible terms. It's a terrible deal. Yeah. So, but I, I know well, people I do are like, I show it to my students how to pitch. Oh. Amazon's second biggest acquisition ever, according to Recode, between 1.2 and 1.8 billion. Wow. Yeah, because Zappos was 1.2. Wow. So that's if that's true, and it could be. And IHS and was saying was that what? Whole Foods uh, is thirteen point seven. Yeah, it was billion. Big, it was the biggest by far. So this would be number two, only second only to uh, the Whole Foods acquisition. So it's funny because Amazon actually. Cre In fact, we talked about this story. They they talked to August. I think you like the August, right? You weren't here that week when we talked about this. Um, August doorbell. I don't like the doorbell. Oh, you not doorbell uh, locks. The locks are fine. Yeah, they talked to August uh, and then uh, walked away from that deal and created mm -hmm. Amazon Key, right. which was the uh, right. thing that nobody should ever do, which allows the Amazon delivery person to walk into your house, put the package in your house and leave. And there's a camera and then there's a lock associated. Uh, so they developed that. And that wasn't so long ago. That was a few months ago. And now they bought Ring. But Ring doesn't make door locks, but they do make cameras they make doorbells they make uh, security lights with cameras That's and one day if they get over their ADT lawsuit they may sell a security oh, system That's right they had a home security system that ADT stopped stymied yep. with a lawsuit uh interesting uh clearly this has to do with well I don't know what this has to do with <laughs> <laughs> clearly I don't know what I'm I, talking do you want about. me to explain it to you? I yes. can even tie it back to Google if please, you'd like. Please, please. Okay. I wrote about this actually last night and I took my, I, normally I do not cover news, but this was big enough. And I was like, yeah, I know what this is about. So what's happening is security, home security has been like the killer app for the internet of things. We all thought it was going to be home automation, but it's, it's not. It's definitely home security. So and, and that's smart why Smart doorbells is one of those, right? One yeah, smart doorbells, smart cameras, yep. all of that are the big winners. Yep. So what's happened is the the market, it's it's basically for the last year or so, it's been a bloodbath. You're either going to win big or you're going to die or you're going to get acquired. So everybody's trying to get acquired. Ring was out raising money. Amazon saw what they could do after, with Alex, after having Alexa and all the success in the smart home. They're like, well, shoot, this space is probably pretty good for us. We should get in on that. And so the Blink Buy gets them the technology, the video processing technology at low powers that's really important for them. Ring is going to get the market share. IHS says there are about 1.2 million Ring doorbells out there. It's by far the largest video doorbell company and with 45% of the market. I'd like to take full responsibility for that. Yes, you should. Yes. You should. Yes. I should also note Ring is actually a sponsor of my show. There you um, go. So we both can take responsibility. So, well, no, I'm, I'm just noting because I'm talking about it. <laughs> oh. All those ethics. I won't take responsibility for it, but you should, Leo. Your audience is much bigger. I think we pushed a lot of doorbells out the door. There you go. Um, and they've, so, been on, they've been on for two years. Ages. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, Ring basically now has the technology for a credible video system and... It has the market power and reach. And Ring for a long time was not, uh, it, it, it's, it's doorbells. They don't make a lot of money on them if they make anything. So 
that that's the other thing. I think getting a new video processor like the Blink video processor in there and having Amazon's cloud kind of capabilities should help it cut down on its materials. That, that would make cost. a lot of sense, actually. There's a synergy there that Amazon can bring to the table. Right. That would be very interesting. And, and after all, Echo and Ring have, have been worked together for some time. So, um, yeah, that make, okay, that all makes sense. That all makes oh, sense. Oh, they are saying that Ring and ADT settled. Apparently, to the chat one person, one source says for $25 million, which is twice what Ring or offered, this is some of the Bezos money, I would guess. Because after all, if you're going to acquire a company, you don't want them uh, hobbled by uh, lawsuits. So, yeah, Ring yeah, well, apparently I, settled. At CES, I heard they were very close to settling. But again, and I heard that from multiple sources. Well, but, ADT uh, accomplished what it wanted to. Which was, which was keep, keep out of the market of the over Christmas, the yeah, over the holiday buying season. So, uh, yeah. Jason Calacanis says the biggest loser in Amazon Ring deal is alarm company ADT. So there, 